All right, so we know you know by now we're going to have a very rare solar eclipse next Monday. Okay, believe it or not, there's a consumer element to that eclipse you need to know about. 300 Sides' Gary Harper here now to explain. Well, they kind of look like 3D glasses that you would use at a movie theater, but they're not. These are glasses that will allow me to check out the eclipse on next Monday. Now, these are legitimate glasses. If you don't get legitimate ones, you could be in some big trouble. As you can see, that yellow band that goes all across the United States is the path of totality. Stephen Cates has been involved in astronomy for three decades and is known in the valley as Dr. Sky. So Threener side wanted to get his thoughts on the upcoming eclipse. So many people may be getting the wrong information, even at this late hour. To view the eclipse safely, you need a special filter. Now, there are filters made for binoculars, telescopes, even one used on our camera. But the key is you have to have protective eyewear, and that's why manufacturers are busy cranking out safety glasses for interested consumers. But you have to get a very specific kind. They're called ISO 123-12-2. That's a long number. You have to make sure there's an ISO certification printed on the inside of the solar glasses, which basically means they're approved and safe to view the eclipse. However, don't get ripped off when looking to buy a pair. But there may be the possibility of fake, and I use that word generally, fake solar glasses. And according to the American Astronomical Society, some companies are trying to trick consumers by printing the ISO icon on fake glasses. Shame on them. If you use glasses not approved to view the eclipse, you can permanently damage your eyes in a matter of seconds. That's true. Yeah, so even just a casual glance or an ac if you're wearing the solar eclipse glasses but they accidentally fall off, even that can be really damaging. Dr. Anita Shadlu is a retina specialist here in the Valley. She says a person who looks at the solar eclipse without the proper eyewear puts them at risk for something called solar retinopathy. So this yellow spot right here shows somebody who's had damage from solar retinopathy or staring at the sun. And you can imagine that that would cause a blind spot right in the center of their vision. And the severity of the damage can vary. And the degree of damage really just depends on how long somebody looks at the solar eclipse for, but even a few seconds can cause permanent damage. Now, many retailers here in the Valley, they've already sold out of these glasses. You're probably going to have to rely on the Internet, but please be extremely careful. There's a lot of knockoffs out there, and you'll be using glasses that will not protect your eyes. For a list of all the authorized vendors and all the authorized glasses, just go to our website, azfamily.com, and look for this story. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.